what do we have here? Well, let's look a little closer and see if we can find out. We have what looks like a glandular structure. You see these glandular spaces, some of which appear a little bit papillary. And in addition, you can see some uh, secreted material within these glands. Uh, this is a classical appearance for a prostate gland. If you saw prostatic concretions, which we might be able to find if we look around enough, prostatic concretions are when the uh, prostatic secretions become uh, indurated and show kind of a, a lamellation that you have those classical features. I don't happen to see any here right now, but I don't want to waste your time looking for them. This is a prostate gland. In addition, if you look towards the periphery of the prostate gland, you will note that we have something we have seen before. We can see large vascular spaces, probably veins, or the prostatic plexus of veins filled with blood clot. And you may remember that when the blood clot looks chiefly like amorphous fibrin and blood cells, we call that a recent blood clot. But when the blood clot starts to get some ingrowth of not only uh, inflammatory cells, but perhaps endothelial cells, like blood vessels are starting to grow into it, we call that uh, an organizing blood clot. I think you might recognize the fact that perhaps here and here and here and maybe here we have some vascular uh, spaces, some ingrowth of capillaries which makes this organizing. Uh, technically speaking, what we really have here and all I really want to say is we have organizing thrombi uh, within a prostate in the veins in the periprostatic venous plexus. Thank you very much.